Capricorn, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for January 10th through the 16th. And I'll um, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cappy. Ah, you know what. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in this. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Wands. Um, wanting to take action towards something. And I, I feel like you're not only wanting to, I feel like you will. In the recent past, the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords. This is really you gearing up to um, build on your stability. There's a lot of determination. There's a lot of good stuff, good tools you've got available there. And I feel like you're doing it. Whatever it is you've been doing so far, it feels like it brought you into this Nine of Pentacles energy, which is um, stability. Or at least set you on the path to create some sort of empire for yourself, basically. Um, in the current situation, the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Ace of Cups. Ooh, love is coming. Love is coming your way, and it confuses the hell out of you. But I feel like this is where the Ace of Wands comes in. Kind of like, oh, yeah, but, you know, it's confusing, but I'll respond to it. Because I see you going... Um, I kind of see you going towards love, but not in the sense of let me get myself all ready and go out there in the world and find love. It's not like that. It's the way you're starting to open up towards the idea or the energy of love. And you're almost looking like you're rushing into it. You're probably opening up pretty fast here. And then love meets you halfway, basically. It's like, oh, here I am, stop looking. Uh, but again, it comes in with a sense of confusion big time for you. In the immediate future, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Well, seems like this love situation isn't gonna last long by the looks of it. Um, it almost feels like it's coming in with a sense of, you know what, yeah, love is here, but it's gonna completely change your life. And you're like, eh? No, probably not, you know? Um, let's let's clarify, let's see. Let's clarify, baby boy. Because love is coming your way and it wants to completely change your life. Probably take you away from me and you're like, oh, hell no, good boy. Anyways, let's do the Ace of Wands. That's what love does. No, that's not what love does. But sometimes love does. I don't know. Ace of Wands for the overall energy. You get the Ten of Wands, the Empress, the Hangman. Um, You're trying to take a step back. Through all of this, you're trying to take a step back. Uh, but it feels hard for you to do so because, again, there's this kind of raging energy almost within you that wants to take action towards something and while you feel like oh you know that feeling of anxiousness when you're like uh, something's about to happen and i feel like i want to do something but i don't know what but you know um i kind of get the sense that you're there overall for some reason you're just trying to pause even if this energy is kind of boiling up inside of you uh, which is very difficult by the looks of it. Let's see, do I want to do the past? Let me do the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what that is. Four of Swords, the Moon, the Five of Wands. I feel like you've been in a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments with yourself um, about this stability of yours, right? What is it? Where can I find it? Can I try this? I'm gonna try that. Let me try the other thing. I mean, I, you know, all sorts of things about it. Um, but somehow you reconcile those differences between you and you, basically, because I see a lot of healing over that aspect of 
back and forth and back and forth and a lot of inner conflict about the direction in which you should go um, towards the stability. But again, at the end of the day here, it looks like you're, well, you've been healing this aspect. With the King of Swords there, it seems like you found something where you don't have to argue with yourself anymore about it. For the King of Swords, you get the Hermit, the Ten of Cups, the Temperance card. Yeah, it's exactly what I said. There's a lot of determination. There's a lot of this is it. This is what I want to do. Um, and I feel like it took some time. It wasn't an overnight thing like, oh, I've got this brilliant idea. I want to do that for myself and it will bring me stability. It's going to be fine. It didn't come in like that. It came in through a lot of sweat and tears here by the looks of it, through a lot of healing. You know, a lot of digging through yourself to see who the hell you are and what it is that you want. Interesting and good. Let's do the Eight of Swords in the current situation. Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. You're a little bit stuck in your head about something, but I'm not worried about it because I feel like it's one of those things that it's going to pass by quite fast. So you're not going to hang on to this energy of, ooh. Uh, it's one of those things where when you realize that, yeah, you are up in your head about, I feel like it's tied up to the, the past situation, still tied up to your stability. Um, I see you a little bit at a crossroad. It's kind of like you took this path, you went and you went and you went and then you stopped because you saw this big boulder in front of you on this path. And it's like, how should I go around it? Through here or through here? Huh. If I go through here, let me think of scenarios that could happen. But if I go through here, another thousand scenarios that could happen. So that's what's going to take you in your head here. There's a little bit of a, almost seems like a blockage. But again, it's not the way I'm getting it. It doesn't feel concerning. Um, <clears throat> let me do the chariot. In the current situation. The devil card, the eight of cups, the wheel of fortune. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Uh, Lots of fast changing energies for, for this one. The overall that sticks out the most is the Eight of Cups, which is telling me that almost like you're going in a direction in which you know you don't want to go, but you're still kind of going and then you come back. It's like, hmm. You know, you just know, you're showing me that you feel you're being led in a particular direction, but something within you tells you mm -mm, it's not that direction. And you're still going, you're still pushing towards there because you're like, I feel that I have to go through here. But then the minute you almost get there, you come right back around. It's like you're dodging a bullet at the last minute. this is but um let's do the ace of cups in the current situation ace of swords three of swords nine of cups there's love that's coming your way i see you responding to it uh, this doesn't have to be by the way it doesn't have to be a uh, uh, romantic relationship or anything it, it could be a gesture from a friend or something but I feel like whatever this interaction here is, especially you giving to it, um, is bringing out some pain for you. It's kind of reminding you of something painful, possibly. But you're showing up grateful for it because it's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, 
I didn't know that. I didn't know I had that going on. You know, I didn't know I was hanging on to that pain. Um, kind of looks like that. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future. What's up, baby boy? Sit, listen. This is you. This is Capricorn. I'm talking important energies for you. You don't care. you don't care you boys live in the present why would you care you boys live for stretching eating sleeping the good stuff the ace of pentacles in the immediate future you get the five of cups the queen of cups the ten of swords new is popping up but it's not that new because i feel like it's coming in with a reminder of the past um it could be that it's a new energy but a person from the past is bringing it because it feels like it's surrounded by an ending here so it's like even though it's new it's old it's done um and i don't see it taking off i see it showing up but i don't see it taking off let's do the seven of swords especially because you're in the seven of swords over it kind of like yeah no thank you so it could be that someone from the past is coming in. Possibly a little different, but still. For the Seven of Swords, you get the King of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Two of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, they're popping up. They're coming back. I don't know who they are. But someone looks like they want to come back in. Even though they don't really want to kind of thing, but they are... I don't know, this is very confusing, because I feel like they're confused about it too. It's like they're showing up out of nowhere, and it's like, why are you here? I don't know, you know? Let's do the Five of Pentacles in the immediate future. Stop. Stop. Okay? Okay. For the Five of Pentacles, you get the Eight of Swords, the Lovers, the Star. Yeah, it's not what you're looking for. It is love, it is showing up, it's not the bestest kind of energy that you feel that matches you. So it's like, no, even though it holds you a little bit into that place of, am I making a mistake? I don't know, I don't know. Am I? Am I? Because it doesn't feel like it's what I want. Um, if it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel. You can't force it to feel something that you don't feel, basically. So just follow your gut. Um, let's see what the universe has. Five of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Cups. Mm. It could be that this situation is coming in to remind you of some things that haven't been healed necessarily from this situation. Because I see a connection coming in, something that probably most likely has been long term. Um, and it, it does carry some sort of significance for you. But it also brings in a lot of past ickiness in terms of how you feel. Um, and I don't, I don't, I still see the energy of moving on attached to you while this is coming in. So it, it almost feels like a reminder. Hey, these are still energies you need to deal with. And that's why this energy is coming back. Anyway, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.